Coach. Hey, Glenn. How are, How are you? you? How's everything? Oh, good. I'm Thinking about sure doing yoga will. again this year? Absolutely. You know, we're looking maybe implement it a little bit earlier so when they come back after the break, it'll, it'll give us the opportunity just to hit the ground running. Anybody I could work with today? Yeah, there's, there's three guys. All right, let's go. Hey, guys, what's up? Right. Deep breath in. Arms down. Twist. Good. Inhale, arms up. And then bring them down and roll over your legs and come onto your hands and knees. That's it, tuck your toes, good. Bend the knees a little bit, yep, because you get locked up right there. I can see it goes really flat, 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 starts rounding out right about there. Right foot's gonna come forward between your hands, or you're gonna bring that left foot flat. So for pitchers, coming up to warrior two almost simulates one of your motions. You're gonna go into reverse warrior, so you're gonna lean back. Right hand's gonna come to the floor, left arm up to the sky. Ready? I'll hold you up. Yeah. I can hold you up. Power yoga for sports has probably helped me um, become a better athlete. Getting in the gym and getting strong is one thing. Doing the yoga every day it makes me more flexible, it makes me faster, it makes me stronger. The power yoga for sports helps the uh, flexibility, stretching, and keeping you healthier on the field. We stole over 100 bases last year. Uh, we have some guys that can run, but that was uh, 100 bases in about 56 games is pretty good. For yoga, it has helped our high school recruits come in and become collegiate and eventually some of them pro athletes.